Hello everyone. Uh, here I am in my new, <coughs> my new uh, production studio. Hold on a second. Okay. <clears throat> Look at all these molds. Today we're going to learn how to make a mold. And there's even molds behind these, I think. Nope. <clears throat> so these are uh, all tiles. I've, each one of them is a different design I've carved here in Norway, mainly in, in Oda since uh, March, or, or since May, excuse me. Here we go. Hold on a second, guys. Ugh. There we go. That's probably better. Oh, a couple more. One more. All right. My production studio is not quite ready for live. Live. Um. um anyway, so uh, I'm gonna get my Thor's hammer out just for this one, just because I want to. Just because this is in Norway. Better in button on my shirt. There we go. Okay. So um. We're going to work on molds today. Um, I'm going to show you how to how I make, make my molds. Um, so, this is my table, my mold making table, um, and it's also going to be my pressing table. So, you, this surface here is, a, is like a laminated plywood, so it's got, it has like a plastic surface on it. I found it here in the building when I was cleaning up, and it, uh, it works perfect for making molds on it because it doesn't stick like it does to wood, but it's it's not a big deal at all. But I just thought I'd mention it because it's uh, it's like my new high-tech mold making table. <laughs> so you can see here, all these molds I've made, 100 and about, I've been running about 140 now. So in, since, since May, I've carved over 175 tiles. I didn't carve, I had not carved 175 tiles after the first five years of my business. So my table now looks like I've been in business now for like several years. So, which is like kind of like a fine wine, which makes me want to bring out my, my, um, My mold making template, I guess we'll call it. Do I have clay in my lips? This is this is my mold making template, we'll call it. Um, okay, so it's just made out of wood. It looks kind of rustic right now. That's good. Um, it's like it is, I do have clay all over my face. This is African clay, it's really red, dark, rich clay. Um, uh, it's uh, new for me to work with, but it's really kind of, <laughs> clay in my face um, and we're going to be using it to make these molds so the way I look at this mold here this 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 um this template or this dam is that I've used it so much that it's really kind of classic it's kind of has it's 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 uh it's aged it's like a wine a fine wine with it um, you know you have that special glass that you use over and over and over again and you have memories with it and everything. So, you know, all, almost all these tile molds I've made, almost all those the tiles I've carved while I've been in Norway, I've used this to make them with. So, so for me, I've made over a thousand molds in my life, well over a thousand. So I know how to handle something like this. When you first start, you might want to be very perfect with a nice clean wood mold. And you might want to clean it off every time um, after you're done making the molds. Scrape it nice and good. You'll see here I have all kinds of little goodies and chunks of plaster stuck on it. That doesn't hurt anything. Um, when you're getting started, you might want to be more perfect with it. I'm only talking about that because, you know, this has made lots of molds. And this is like, it's special. So it's rustic. And when you get good at this, this is all you need, and you just can keep using it over and over again. However, this is for making one mold. Um, when I first got here in May, I had a, I had a, I had a big, I had a nice 
uh, I, had, I had clay with me to make tiles. I think I had maybe 25 molds, or I don't know what I had, but I, I had clay with me to make tiles. So I, I started using up my clay right away, got, found some more clay. Eventually I went to Oslo, got more clay. Um, um, and I, you know, I, normally I, I make molds, when you make a tile, you normally, I always usually like to make the tile and make a mold right away of the tile. I don't like to let it sit very long. Uh, it can get broken, it can dry out. Um, you can make tiles out of dry molds. It's just a little bit better to make it out of a wet mold. Uh, the plaster, plaster just likes wet clay a little bit better. It, it kind of is, it flows over it a little bit better. It's not even really noticeable anyways. So this is what I'll use in the future when I'm doing, when I carve just one tile, I'll probably most likely very soon after I finish it, make a mold out of it. So normally we'll just be doing one, but today with, I'm doing six because I have all these tiles still left from my, my, um, my time here in Norway. Um, you know, I just heard a story the other day about how there was, these art, there was this artist, this famous Norwegian painter. He just, he just went from hotel to hotel living off of, uh, they fed him when he made his artwork and they let him stay there when he made his artwork. <laughs> it was kind of like me in May. I stayed at the Hadanger Hotel for a, a month making artwork. Um, granted, I didn't get any free room and board and they didn't get any artwork, but I did do a tile of their hotel, so that's cool. But, um, and I, that'll be fun to make that. Um, and I would like to make tiles of the, of the, of the Viking hosts and uh, Toltunga Hotel, you know. So I'm not partial just to any one particular place, but you know, I did spend a lot of time there and got to know people there um, for reasons of why I picked that hotel or my reasons, but um, anyways. So um, we're going to be pouring six molds at once because I have all these tiles that are ready to go. And uh, um, I spent all this time, all summer long, making all these tiles. It's, you know, it, it, I'm even impressed. And I think any, any art teacher, any ceramicist, any tile maker would be impressed. Okay, so I'll show you the tiles I'm going to make really quick. And we're even going to learn some things from these tiles that I'm making because I have quite a variety here. First tile is this nuts and bolts tile that was from the, the, the um, from actually from nuts and bolts that I found here in the in the Dunkelaga. I made several tiles from items that I found here in, in, in Dunkelaga because I I think it, it's uh, important to connect to this place. Uh, I've been here so much so much now. It's a very special place for me. Um, this is another tile. Now we're going to be we're going to be fixing. I'm going to be showing you how I can how I can make a mold of a broken tile. It's not the end of the world when you break a tile. It's a pain in the butt. It's another step. It's another little thing you have to you have to monkey with. But it's not going to be a problem, and I'll, this tile will not be ruined. Um, this is this tile is made from the horse. It's a it's my um my um Valkyrie tile of my space my space Valkyrie with the with the horse from the Oda statue in the in the park. So I did several Valkyrie tiles, and I still want to do more. Those are fun. This is my my Soviet Union tile that I made. Um, <laughs> see all this dust? I, 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 all these tiles I made back in July, July, August, maybe no, July, August, July and August, June. I think all these are July and August. Here's the original nuts and bolts. Uh, I made two nuts and bolts tile. This is the original. It's a cool tile. I have a couple glazes that'll be really cool on that one. Here's my um, my welcome, basically welcome to Oda, Oda tile. This is the sign when you're entering the town. It says Oda, Oda. <clears throat> 
This tile is, is, is broken pretty good, um, but it will still be okay. This is a special tile. Um, man, it's really broken <laughs> in four pieces, but it'll be okay. This is a tile when there was an eclipse and a friend of mine went out and um, caught a little fish in her hand and um, she went out and saw the eclipse and um, I made a tile of that. Okay, so first thing we have to do is we have to get the, the dam or the template. I think, think dam is a much better word for it. Ready for the, um, the pouring process. Okay, so this is rather easy, but it can take a little bit of time. Um, I want to say one other thing too about these tiles. Um, I was conserving clay during my trip because I wanted to get as many tiles made as possible. So I started making the tiles thinner and thinner and thinner so that I could have more clay to make tiles every night. So you'll see here, this is about uh, a little less than a centimeter. Um, this one here is about the same, very thin. Um, normally, I, I like the tiles to be probably as uh, half as much as thick as this is more. So take this in half and then add that to this. So about, you know, about a little over a centimeter is what I'd like. So I'm going to take the tiles out of the mold. So what we have to do is, is we have to, the, the, the mold has to, the, the, the dam or the template it's not really a template for game. It has to be um, secured to the table because when you put the plaster in here, plaster has water in it, so it makes the wood buoyant and it wants to lift up. So first thing we have to do is, is we have to secure that. And we do that by putting, we do that, we do that two ways. First way is you get a little ball, a little chunk of clay, and you just smash it on the corner of the molds. Yeah, I'll show you. So, we'll put the camera here where we can see us, hopefully. Okay, so this, this corner needs to be held down. So you just smash the clay around the corner like so. And you want to just kind of smush it down onto the table and you want to bring it up and smush it up against the side of the mold of the, of the frame. Frame, that's even better, huh? I figured it out. This clay is from Africa and I got it when I, when I bought my kiln here in Larvik. Um, the potter had this ex had several bags of different kinds of clay, and one of them was this African clay. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's really it's really gritty. It's got a 